Yep, this room is a mess, just like gotcha videos. Oh my god, yes, an Isabel bed. Hey y'all. That's right, I'm back stealing Vixella's intro, which must mean I'm doing another The Sims 4. But every room is a different blank challenge video. I'm actually really excited about today's because today's is The Sims 4, but every room is a different video game. Also, before we start this video, I just wanted to remind all of you that it has been almost exactly one month since my birthday. And thus, that's not really that long of a time. I still have my birthday superpowers, which means you need to like this video. Do it now. And just to prove that I have magical birthday superpowers, behold! <laughs> It's The Sims. Okay, once again, because I don't know how to build my own Sims houses, even though I've been playing this game for years, I found this super cute one off the gallery, but the inside is totally empty and ready for us to fill it. All right, wheel of mystery, please. Okay, so obviously there's a ton of games. So I decided to narrow it down to games that are my favorites slash favorites of the channel or super recent popular games so that we can be trendy. So we have FNAF, Fortnite, bleh. I felt like I had to put that in there. Pokemon, Bendy and the Ink Machine, The Sims. Oh yeah, we're about to get real meta in here. Gonna make a Sims themed room in The Sims. Minecraft, Animal Crossing, Tamadachi Life, Gotcha Life, Roblox, and Yandere Simulator. So most of them are ones that are popular on my channel, but I sprinkled in some other ones that might be popular with you guys. All right, starting with the outside of the house as always, what's it gonna be? Oh my god, Minecraft. This may work out perfect because I did find some Minecraft custom wallpapers and floors. I wasn't anticipating having to do the outside of the house, but it works, it works. Let's do some real basic looking Minecraft house. Like the Minecraft house that you build the first time you ever play Minecraft. Dude, what if I do that and then I do the opposite? <gasps> Look at it. It's like it's got a stripe in the middle. <laughs> oh my god. This is fantastic. I will say that birch wood is my favorite type of Minecraft wood. At least right in the beginning. You know what's funny? The columns kind of look like <laughs> the Minecraft wall. Perfect. We also have Minecraft flooring. Ooh, let's go with like dark floors. Oh, I'm sad there's no like grass texture. It's fine. We'll just use wood everywhere. Or actually, no. This will be a stone path. Kind of stumped on the roof. Maybe just like a stone roof? I don't know. None of the roofs look good. Maybe what we're going with. Okay, we're gonna do the dark color to tie in this dark wood down here. So we have dark oak wood windows with a birch and stone wall finish. Trying to make it sound good, even though it's not. These kind of look like Minecraft fences. So let's use those. I feel like these bushes are not square enough. Yes. We can only have square things. <laughs> oh my God, perfect. Only square blocks. Okay, we got square bushes on both sides. There is grass in Minecraft, so we can have this. And there's flowers in Minecraft, so we can have these. Do some cute flowers outside the window. And I do have some Minecraft posters. So it kind of goes with the color scheme of the house, great. And we got a giant creeper rug we can put here. We have an Enderman rug, let's put it on the driveway. I think over here, I'm gonna try and create a lava pit. Okay, that is lava. <laughs> Don't question it. And I think that's as good as I'm gonna get for a Minecraft house. Yeah, I could not find, I used to have so much Minecraft custom content. I could not find any online except for like a couple rugs and luckily the wallpapers and the flooring. But I mean, you know, it's a Minecraft starter house. That's what this is. That's lava. That's, you know, water. That is also in Minecraft. <laughs> some flowers, some weeds, completely square bushes. Actually, we could throw in some TNT rugs just to do a little bit extra Minecraft. Minecraft. We'll just pretend that these are pigs over here. Yay, look at it. Look at it. I am happy with it. <laughs> Good enough. Done. Minecraft. Okay, so next up is the kitchen, which I've decided is going to be this area right here. And let's spin the wheel. Ooh, I like this. I like this because Freddy Fazbear's is a pizzeria. And now we get to make a pizzeria. Gotta do the black and white checkered floor. There we go. Gray and white, whatever. Close enough. Good enough. The walls are like a weird gray. We need some red countertops. Yes, like this. An animatronic fridge with a computer system in it. Perfect. Oh, actually, we should have a full chef station, maybe. Blood red dishwasher. Wave. Popcorn maker. Coffee machine. And then 
-hmm. some Five Nights at Freddy's posters. <laughs> Do the celebrate here. Over on this wall, we'll have all the characters. How cute. Oh yeah, pizza. Do another one here. We'll do a slice of pizza here. Here. What the heck is, what the heck? Why do I keep finding weird things in the Sims debug menu? I mean, it's creepy. What is that? Instead of the creepy head, let's just put a Freddy Fazbear doll. Oh yeah, lights. <laughs> Always forgetting lights. Oh yes, the creepy lighting. There we go. And there we go. Wow. I think this came out perfect. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Kitchen. Oh my God, I'm so happy I got this for the kitchen. So happy. All right, now moving on to the dining area. Who will it be? Yandere Simulator, okay. All right, so the floor is like yellowish in the school. It's like very pale yellow. This kind of gives me under a simulator vibes, all different shades of yellow and pale yellow. This one's kind of the reverse of what it is. It's supposed to be pale yellow down here and white up there, but it's fine. It's good enough. Ooh, perfect. One, because the game takes place in Japan, but two, because these cherry blossom trees are in the outside of the school. I don't think I've ever seen more perfect lighting for a room ever. Okay, we're gonna get a white long table. I don't know why, but I kind of like this. <laughs> and the table's just gonna have a bunch of knives. <laughs> Beautiful. Actually, I found something better. Yes. <laughs> just knives on the table. Knives on the wall. Wall. Beautiful. And I think we need to add some red into this. There we go. I'm only gonna put two chairs. One for Yandere, one for Senpai. And we're gonna put a bunch of hearts. Cute. Oh, I forgot we gotta put lockers in here. The lockers in the game are gray, so we'll keep them gray in this. There we go. Just gonna put a love teddy bear in here and a book called A Roadmap to Love. Plus, because it takes place in a school anyway. We'll do Love in the Time of Sandwiches. Perfect. Perfect. And this is the Yandere simulator room. I think it came out great. <laughs> All right, so next up, the bathroom. Who will be where I go to the potty? <laughs> Roblox. <laughs> yes, this is a pretty good pick for the bathroom. There's so many different types of Roblox games. So I think what I'm gonna model this after is the Roblox noob colors. So like super bright yellow, blue, green. <laughs> Maybe blue for the shirt would be the wall. And then this like lime green for the floor, which is the pants. And then, oh wait, there are yellow bathroom things? Oh good, there is. <laughs> it's golden, but it's yellow. It's as yellow as we're gonna get. All right. I need a really yellow light. This is probably perfect. A yellow shower slash bathtub. There's no good yellow sinks, so I'm gonna make one. Perfect. This kind of looks like a Roblox head. There you go. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Yellow cabinet, yellow towel holder, and last but not least, some Robux right next to where you go to the bathroom. <laughs> Everybody knows you need Robux. All right, and I think that's all I can really do with this uh, Roblox bathroom. I mean, I got the color scheme down, so perfect. All right, next. Next up, the living room slash probably the entryway. And here we go. Okay. All right, let's do, I mean, the biggest room of the house should probably go to The Sims because we're playing The Sims. So I'm okay with that and I have a lot to work with. I think for this one, we're gonna make the walls green, you know, for plum bobs. Ooh, I kind of like that. Now I wish there was a plum bob light. Let me see if I can find one that's like that same shape. Okay, bear with me here. What if these are like the green, kind of yellow, not really yellow, green, yellow, and red plum bobs that are above Sims heads. We're just gonna say that's what it is because I don't have anything else. Perfect. And now we're gonna put plum bobs everywhere. Ooh, actually, I just had an idea. I'm gonna make my own plum bob in the floor. I mean, it's not it's not gonna look exactly like one. There we go. It's kind of, kind of a plum bob, right? Right? <laughs> Tell me it's a plum bob. I tried my best. I kind of like this couch or this couch? This couch. Oh yeah. And we gotta get their bunny mascot in here. There we go. TV on the wall. Okay, we gotta get the llama in here. And to pay tribute to The Sims being like my first computer game ever, we're gonna add a computer. All right, we got some lit stairs now. So I'm gonna move the desk over there. Little housing bookshelf there. Cause you built houses in The Sims. 
Sims, of course. And even though this looks a little weird, I think uh, I think we're good. <laughs> Yay, Sims room. I just realized how much green is on this first floor, uh, but I wanted to show that I did the entryway. I just matched it and then put a little gaming square. So yeah, first floor is done. Moving to the second floor, which seems to go a lot faster. But let's just go to the master bedroom. And the master bedroom is going to be... <gasps> Animal Crossing, yes! That's what I was hoping for. Okay, so I did actually find some Animal Crossing custom content. It's just gonna make this so much easier. Look at this wallpaper. It's so cute. There's this blue one too, but no. It's gotta be this one. I didn't find any flooring, but I think I want to do this cute flowering grass as the floor. And then for the bed, I have custom content too. Oh my God, yes, an Isabel bed. All my dreams. There was also this one, and there was also this one. Ooh, maybe the blue. Blue it is. And we have an Animal Crossing rug. How perfect. We definitely need this paw print bedside table. Perfect. Do some cute flowers up here. Ooh, there's money fruit, which I'm gonna put over here because you can bury money in Animal Crossing. I was trying to find bells, but they don't have any. Oh my gosh, there's all these fish. Let's put some on the wall over here. We should do lots of fishing in Animal Crossing. Perfect. Let's do a matching dresser where I can put bugs on it. Let's do a, a butterfly and a firefly. So we got bugs, we got fish. Ooh, we got fossils. This looks like a star piece. So we're gonna have star piece lights. Perfect. Uh, I think this is pretty perfect. Oh my god, it's so freaking cute. All the different things you collect in the game, including flowers, the wallpaper, paper, the rug, the bed. Oh, I love it. The star piece lights. It is perfect, if I do say so myself. All right, bedroom number two is gonna be... Wow! Gotcha Life by just a hair. All right, so Gotcha Life is basically a bunch of ridiculous love stories. So I'm gonna make this room very girly, very fashion-y, because it's all about like dressing up characters and creating a story, but usually that revolves around love, so oh yeah. And actually, gotchas are usually over the top, so we should probably make this bedroom a bit over the top too. Perfect. Oh my god, look it, it's a love light. It's perfect. Cute little cloud lights everywhere. I have like completely forgotten about about curtains this whole video. Ooh, yes. I'm wanting to use these. Should we have a wedding altar? Sure. <laughs> Sure. Get a backpack by the door. Perfect. Yep, this room is a mess. Just like gotcha videos. Actually, let's put the backpack on top of there. Ooh, I forgot I got this. Okay, so here's all the dress up items. This is such a hot mess. I love it. That's what I was going for. Wow. This is, look, it's dress up, it's pink. There's a wedding arch, you know, for the love stories. There's a backpack and travel suitcases for like the school and travel stories. And uh, yeah, this is, this is, this is gotcha. Gotcha life. All right, and the third and final bedroom. Bendy and the ink machine. Well, this is gonna be easy. Easy in that everything's gonna be yellow or black. Ooh, there we go. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. This may be the easiest one. We're gonna do production lights because it's for a cartoon. There we go. Oh yeah, we should probably do an easel. There we'll do pencils and pens. Ooh, this is creepy. Let's do this. Yes. Ooh, and these are perfect. Yes. This looks like ink smearing. Sure. Oh my god, even the rug is perfect. It looks like oil. <laughs> yes! Okay, I love this. Not bad for not using any custom content in this. Bendy in the ink machine room, done. All right, now on to this shared bathroom. Ooh, Tamadachi Life. Okay, Tamadachi Life, I'm kind of confused on how to do. When you start the game, you start with just like an empty room. So we're just gonna make an empty room. And then we're just gonna put a bunch of people on the walls. These will be the Tamadachi Life characters. Just trust me, okay? <laughs> okay, so I filled the room with all these Tamadachi people. I keep forgetting this is a bathroom, so we have to put bathroom stuff in it. This is probably one of the hardest rooms that I've had to try and make. Because I don't know what to make. Okay, there we go. Pretty plain bathroom. But we're gonna set up a microphone because a big part of Tamadachi Life is singing. I'm literally grasping at straws. Ooh! 
the solar system because the main goal in Tamadachi life is to save enough money to go to space. Ooh, this rug because the series is colorful but a hot mess. There we go. I want some rainbow hearts and some red hearts and some black hearts to show all the different relationships that go on in Tamadachi life because it's always drama. Ah, uh, perfect. That's probably the best I'm gonna get out of Tamadachi life. <laughs> I tried. All right, we're finally in the home stretch. We're down to the last two. Which one is gonna be this little hallway area? Probably hallway study. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. I actually think I have some custom content for this one, but not for the flooring or walls. So we're gonna do red and white, of course. This is kind of like gonna be the study, I guess. So there we go. There we go. There we go. And then surprise, surprise, we have Pokemans. Oh God, they're so tiny. Don't worry, we can fix that. Pikachu and Eevee. There we go, perfect. Oh my God, it's so freaking cute. This bookcase and this bookcase. Oh my God, we can have the starters. Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Yes! And we got some Pokeballs. Go, oh, there we go, there we go. I love it too, I like this red and white rug. Here's a bunch of awards for winning Pokemon tournaments. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Sure, and uh, yeah, I think that's good. The only other Pokemon custom content I have are figurines, and I don't wanna put them all over the floors. I guess I could put one over here. Oh my God, let's put Jigglypuff over here. We'll put Dragonite, yes. Most perfect Pokemon room ever. Oh my God, this upstairs makes me so happy. Okay, last but not least, I'm putting Fortnite in this tiny little room because I've run out of spots, and I don't know that much about Fortnite. I really just did it because it's like one of the most popular games, but it takes place outside. So I don't know, that kind of looks like the sky. <laughs> Put some clouds. Yeah, get some terrain, which kind of goes with the room that it's attached to. For this bathroom, instead of a toilet, we're gonna use a bush because I know that in Fortnite, you can hide by being a bush. So here you go. You can pee in a bush. Fortnite, there's a taser. Sure, let's put that in there. It'll be behind the barrier. Taser gun, that's all I got. Anybody know what I'm trying to do? Probably not, gonna have to explain it. I'm trying to do the L because that's like the dance that they do. <laughs> Oh, I've been building for too long. It's been like two hours. You guys better love this. And my L signs on the wall. All right, that's probably as good as Fortnite's gonna get. You know, the bush, construction for constructing things in the game, the L sign, uh, a taser gun for like the first person shooter part. That's all I got. That's, that's all I got. But all in all, this house came out amazing. Make sure to leave a like before you go. I worked really hard on this, so hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other ideas for more versions of this that I can do. I'm kind of running out of them. Ones that other people haven't really done yet. And otherwise, subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit the notification bell so I don't get lost in the void that is now YouTube. And as always, I will see you guys soon. Bye!